Let's talk about uh, The Voice, but with a bloke who is living in the Northern Territory, a man who I trust to call it right down the line, a man who can call out the extremes, and he is the best person here at Sky News to do the documentary that you'll see before us tomorrow night. It's about The Voice, Australia Decides. You'll see it at 8pm Eastern Time tomorrow. The great Matt Cunningham from the Northern Territory, beautiful Darwin, he joins us now. The Voice, Australia Decides. With all sides of this, you can see the politicians, the advocates... And the shadow ministers and the minister, they're all there. Uh, Matt, lovely to talk to you, mate. So as balanced, as balanced, as balanced, would even Channel 2 be happy with how 50-50 this thing is? Well, I've certainly tried to allow all people involved in this debate, uh, Paul, to, to put their point of view across. And I think that's important as we go towards a referendum and people are going to have to vote on this later this year. I think the other thing we try to do is focus on the real issues at hand here. I mean, I, you know, as you know, I live here in the Northern Territory. We see front and centre every day um, the issues that we're dealing with when it comes uh, to Indigenous affairs in this country. Um, you know, last Saturday night I was breaking up a domestic violence incident outside my house. We've seen uh, on the streets of Alice Springs, you know, what's been happening there. Um, and yet I, I think when we look at uh, the voice debate, quite a bit, certainly what's been going on in Canberra. It seems a long way removed, you know, um, from those issues. So, so what we're trying to do is look at some of those issues and, and let people put their points of view across. Some people are firmly uh, saying that the voice can help deal with some of these issues. Others say it'll only make them worse. So we're, we're canvassing all of those views in this documentary tomorrow night. So, again, when you, when you look back at the whiteboard, you're trying to work out, OK, you know, I, I, I know what... This person thinks on telly. I know what this person thinks in the newspaper. Um, but I want to be able to tell the to tell the story, as you say, not just about the practical, but again about some of the, the mechanics that might be here. What is it that you most want to achieve when people watch this thing rather than just will they vote for it or will they vote, vote against it? What do you hope that we're going to learn about the debate and about some of the machinery by this time tomorrow night, if we watch it at 8... When people watch it, at 8 o'clock here on Sky Tomorrow. Well, I hope they get a better understanding of, exact, of exactly what's being proposed and exactly what they're being asked to vote on. Um, I, and I think that one thing that's come out in, in, you know, all of the work that we've done as part of this documentary is that when you talk to the average punter on the street, and that's whether it's someone, you know, in... Carlton in Melbourne or in inner city Sydney or it's someone uh, you know, in a remote community on a place like Groot Island, there's a lot of people who don't really have a clue about what is being proposed here. I don't think people have really engaged in this debate. It's been a debate that's being held, had at the extremes. Uh, it's a debate that's been had in Canberra. But I don't think we've really... You know, I don't think middle Australia certainly has engaged in the vote about the voice to parliament. I don't think a lot of people have a really good idea of what the proposal is or what it's about. And so hopefully, you know, we'll try and answer some of those questions as part of this documentary. I should have asked you this question years ago when we first started talking on and off the telly, but I'm going to ask you on telly right now. And you've got about a minute to answer it, so be fast. Which is, <laughs> how do you deal with the emotion in this? Because there are no doubt the advocates for who will have tears in their eyes telling you how important this is, and there'll be advocates for no that, again, have tears in their eyes telling us how bad a move this might be. As a bloke who is a big-hearted guy, how do you divorce the emotion here uh, around people trying to be passionate and evocative? Well, I've got to say, mate, that in, you know, this year in particular, but... but you know, over the journey of eight years working here on Sky, and I thank you for all you know, of the support you've given me covering these issues. But this year in particular, I've found it really, really difficult covering um, some of these issues. Um, and the thing I find most difficult is, you know, and we've talked about this before, you know, we cover these issues, we talk about some of these issues, and no one seems to care. And, and that's one thing I hope comes across in the documentary. Whether you're on the yes side or whether on, you're on the no side, I would challenge anyone to listen to Jacinta Price speak at length or to listen to Noel Pearson speak at length about some of these issues and not believe that they really want to see something done to fix them. Um, I'm not sure whether yes or no is the answer, but I know we list, need to listen to more of these people about the real issues affecting Aboriginal people in this country mm. if we're ever going to make a change to what really is a tragedy that unfolds every day in parts of this country. 
bloody oath. You're a good man. That's hard to do quickly. I appreciate that you did. I love you, mate. I love your work. I look forward to celebrating it again tomorrow night. All eyes, 8 o'clock. No matter what you're doing, I don't care what else sport is on, front row, 8 o'clock tomorrow night here on Sky News. Watch Matt's great work. See you soon, brother. Look forward to returning to the Territory sooner rather than later too.